first it starts with determining engagement outcomes. And then you need to start going through the process. And this is hard work, uh, but you need to convene groups of employees so that you can through focus groups, through through interviews, through uh, different means so that you can get employee input into the process and you can create employee buy in into the process. If your engagement strategy and the, your, your approach to measuring engagement within your organization is just a top down. The, the C-suite says we, we're going to use this survey. Um, now everyone go do it and managers make sure your employees do this. If that's the approach, uh, it's not going to be particularly meaningful or helpful for your organization. Uh, so you need to make sure that you're creating employee buy-in. But I, I will fully, fully uh, recognize that that takes more time, that takes more resources, that takes more energy and commitment to do it that way. Um, but it will lead to better outcomes. You need to identify what's really truly important to your employees. What are the salient motivators of your employees? And just because something, you know, if you're if you're a CEO or you're in the C-suite, just because something's valuable to you at your particular stage in life doesn't mean it's that same thing's going to be valuable to the other people working with you as part of your team. So you need to talk to them. You need to understand what they really truly value. And if you're going to try to seek um, ways of leveraging their capacity and, and help increase their motivation and engagement levels, it, if there's a misalignment between what you're offering and what they want, then you're not going to have the desired outcomes, uh, plain and simple. And organizations miss this point all the time. It is so common for organizations to not be clear on the outcomes, to not have um, mechanisms in place that employees actually value. And so then it just becomes a, a, an exercise of collecting data that's not actually particularly meaningful or helpful to helping things improve within the organization. You can also perform a driver's analysis similar to you know, figuring out what's important to employees, figure out what, and, and this can happen through data analytics and, and uh, statistical analyses, but what actual drivers are the most important? Um, so sometimes employees say something's really important to them, but when you actually do the analysis, you realize, oh, that doesn't actually play out in the data. Um, it doesn't, it's not actually as important as they say it is in, ter in terms of how it influences their motivation and, and performance. So doing a driver's analysis is also going to be important and not just doing that one time, but do doing that on a regular basis, um, you know, every year, you know, revisiting um, the, the core drivers.